Good evening and welcome to Be the People. The Gujarat High Court may have asked the Narendra Modi government to lift the ban on Jaswan Singh's book, but you can bet on this. This isn't the last we've heard on the subject of book banning. Every time a book in India seems to question a conventional version of history or perhaps a historical icon or perhaps even conventional morality or religious sentiments politicians are quick to rush to a ban on the program today we're debating is politics killing history and literature of course we will be taking your comments on our sms scroll as always but if you're at your laptops and you'd like to get on to twitter you can twitter me as well on this program my twitter handles at pdat well let's get started with the two lawyers before we come to the politicians sorry i want to start uh, with you first uh, you're somebody who's of course questioned the whole ban on jaswant singh's book in the supreme court but is your larger principle as a, as a lawyer that all bans per se are questionable or that this particular one is i wouldn't like to talk about this because i'm appealing the matter but i wouldn't say all bans per se are objectionable all depends on the contents of the book if there is something which is patently inciting racial disharmony hmm. or something which is really rank pornography so to speak that's a different matter but the question is the whole trouble is this is as a result of growing intolerance not the ability not to listen to the other point of view to see feel that you are the repository of all wisdom and truth and anyone who questions that is sort of heretical and should be suppressed but what if a politician or a government were to argue that listen books are books but law and order is a, is a government's responsibility and if a book is going to stir up a law and order problem as they argued in gujarat where we will be crossing over as soon as that line is up right. uh, what 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 would you know what then happens to constitutional rights yes that was precisely the question which was raised in respect of film call pan my tamil ore ore gramatile and the peer in that where the theme of the movie was that reservation is being abused and very often people who don't deserve to get seats they get it because of manipulation on that and the, uh, the people said well if you show this film will burn the theater hmm. so being was it were abused if the movie is a constitutionally within the guaranteed freedoms hmm. you cannot ban it because of otherwise you're holding us a ransom to an intolerant bigoted group of people is the business of the state to suppress those people who depress uh, uh, law and order rather, rather than, than let suppress them blackmail expression. the terms. rather than suppress expression okay that's an interesting point to come to harish salvin harish we all know you as a liberal yet in the case of james lane and his book on shivaji uh, which was banned by the maharashtra government you actually chose to defend that ban why um, let me tell you barka my personal view and uh, over the years is that we should stop he defended the ban yeah, yeah. solely expressing should, the yeah, yeah. you should stop murmured surprise to my right yeah, but you <laughs> should stop banning books altogether you should stop yes, banning i that's my personal view over the years because this power is more abused than used firstly secondly i think so many years down the road we are a mature enough republic films may be different because the the power okay. of the media Impact. expression mm. is such mm. books do not create law and order so why problem. did why did you defend politicians who bring the matter on the streets are the ones who create law and order problems and you should deal with them like you deal with other law and order problems if you so believe this, this that harish why did you defend this argument okay why did you defend the particular ban that you did see i defended it as a lawyer but i'll tell <laughs> you that uh, you didn't what, really believe it but the area of ban was very limited <laughs> what the court suggested because it was not a blanket ban was there were certain very derisive references tuba.com